Hi guys, Naomi Sequera here with Instrument's first market update for 2020. Starting the year with a bang, demand for technology is increasing, which brings an important announcement from us at Instrument as we are now servicing Tasmania. However, the brick and mortar retail sector is in some serious trouble with some of our favourite retailers and department stores announcing closures. Some of the names on the list include Big W, Bardo, David Jones, Jeans West and Colette. Industry professionals have pointed out that online sales are forcing brick and mortar retailers into competitive prices, lowering their margins down as low as 5% in November, and ultimately taking away from the Christmas sales. What's going on in property? Well, Sydney and Melbourne both saw with a 5% increase in value over the last quarter. Although the two big cities are back on the growth wagon, their rental return yields are still sitting at just 3%. Lowest across the country. Domain has reported that Brisbane has had its busiest January in a decade, with more than 100 people turning up to an auction in Graceville, as well as open homes attracting an average of 30 attendees. Plenty of great content being released by the prop tech giant. Check out their Your Domain page in our bio for more info. It definitely sounds like the property market is heating up for 2020. If you are yet to find your first property, we have some good news for you. Government grants for first homeowners are back. If you earn under $125,000 per year and have a 5% deposit ready, the government can guarantee you the remaining 15% of the deposit. Check out the link in the bio for more information on the grants. Why should one buy property? Well. It's no secret Australians have a love affair with the property market. Even after a massive two-year downfall, we are back in the profits already. But what does it mean to be a property investor and where should one look to buy? Well, rental yields are a great place to start. Being positive geared means your property maintains its own cost. Based off January's facts reported by CoreLogic, median property in Darwin has the lowest value for purchase at $390,000 with the highest yield and rent return at 5.8%. A median property in Sydney, on the other hand, is costing $860,000 and only returning 3% per annum. This doesn't seem so great, however, with values rising 1% per month, the capital gains are ridiculous. Food for thought, using property management apps like InstaRent can save landlords up to $4,000 per annum, increasing that yield on your property by an extra cent. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you for tuning in, and please don't forget to subscribe and check out our bio for information references.